cabin season is coming up. It's a magical time. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. My cabin is actually uh, uh, kind of closer to Duluth, but, um, and that's a wonderful area too. Now that first time you unlock the door, it's, it, it feels like a magical time, but when you have to clean up what's left over the winter, that's right. maybe not quite as magical <laughs> as, as some people uh, would that's hope right. for, the raking, the cleaning up. Uh, generally there's maybe a mouse or two that is uh, right. camped there for the right. winter, so, you know. I love it, I love the ritual, you know, whatever it is. You know, we are lucky that it's a year-round cabin, we get to snowmobile up there too, but still, you know, you're putting the dock in, raking, yeah, getting the you know getting the the boat and motor tuned up. Um, I love it. I just I just absolutely love it. Garrison Keeler just did a hilarious piece about a migrant dock installer who would start in, in yes. Missouri in, in March and work his way north and oh, absolutely. install docks and, and you know this is all fictional obviously but the well, I don't I don't dispute that. <laughs> I bet you that happens. There's there's probably work to be found there. <laughs> That's right. Oh, you know we are lucky. You know, we've got we, we have a kind of a community on our lake and there is a they pick a weekend and everybody goes and helps put everyone's dock in yeah. and that's that's an amazing part of minnesota's tradition that perhaps we're i'm lucky that that's still preserved in on our lake was there uh, were you ice fishing there over the winter or did you uh, get there was some decent ice fishing there was because we we were lucky to have decent ice uh there were some times where the crappies were really hitting hard um but uh, you know we're uh, we're also facing some of the lake management issues that other lakes are seeing. Now and let's let's talk about that. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things you're hearing, not only from constituents and, and people here at the Capitol, but from I'm guessing cabin neighbors talk to you about you know things that we can or should do better. Lake quality is a huge thing. You know we are learning so much, and the information that's coming out about uh, lake quality, particularly from lake associations has really been incredible okay. these are citizens who are coming forward and saying we need to do a better job of preserving water quality um, and yes government we want you to help us but we're going to take the initiative ourselves that's really uh, an if ideal if you just situation. give us the information yeah. It seems like an ideal situation, kind of uh, citizen legislators, uh, mm -hmm. you know, getting involved on the grassroots level and, and you know, here's how we're going to help our community. We're not coming to St. Paul saying, what are you going to do for us? Right. We're saying, here's what we're doing, how can you help? Right, right. Oh, there's all sorts of issues. You know, we're, we're learning so much about what we do on the land um, that affects our water um, and how water quality affects property values. Sure. Um, there's a study that shows that the um, the clarity of the water is almost directly proportional to property values. Wow. It's unbelievable. And, and boy, in this real estate market, we've heard plenty about property values, mm -hmm. so I would guess that's becoming a bigger mm -hmm. and bigger issue. Absolutely. Absolutely.